Uh, afternoon, everyone. Um, obviously, uh, good good to be on tour. Um, it's been a couple of testing days in Bangladesh, last couple of weeks, I suppose. Um, but sometimes things like that can galvanize a team, can get a team close together. Um, and since we've been there, the guys have been fantastic. They've trained really hard. The energy's been good. Um, guys seem to be happy and relaxed, and that's important for us. So thus far, it's been a really good start for our, for our preparations. We've got a group of 15 players and, we, and, and we're confident in each and every one of them. They're obviously two big players to replace, we know that. A lot of experience. But with that comes opportunities for some younger players. So guys like Naim, Afif, Saikat, Shomo. We've got some really good players who can replace those type of players. And, and whilst it is disappointing to lose them, it does give an opportunity to some younger players to try and stake a claim and become senior and become senior players within the team. Anybody would miss Shakib. He's a fantastic cricketer. He's a leading all down in world cricket. The players look up to him, so he's obviously a big loss for us. There's no doubt about it. Well, number one, a year's in, in cricketing terms a long time. We haven't even thought about it, about how Shakib gets integrated back into the team. It's, it's not something that's even crossed my mind. I don't think it's crossed any of the players' mind. For sure, there's a lot of... Um, when I say there's... there's He's been a big player for Bangladesh and he's been very close friends with, the, with a lot of the players. Um, so it's obviously affected some of the players and he's made a mistake and he's paying the price for it. There's not too much else we can say about it. It's, not, it's nothing that, that we can control or something that affects us too much at the moment. It obviously affects the team in terms of his performances, but our mindset and our focus has got to be entirely on the team and our preparation going into this important series leading into a World Cup a year away. So. Our focus is entirely on this series and, and, pre and preparing for the World Cup in 12 months' time. Yeah, look, I think everyone is a bit disappointed. Um, I mean, uh, in the day, I don't know if I should be talking too much about it. It's not really my... I mean, I've been there for a month and I've known Shaki for a month and the relationships the players have with him are a lot deeper than I've got with him because I, I don't know him that well. I've, I've worked with him for a month. Um, but the players speak very highly of him. They've all got a lot of respect for him. They all admire the way he goes about his business, his performances. Uh, and like I said, no one's perfect. He's made a mistake and he's got to pay the price for it. It's, it's very tricky because obviously Shaky bats number three and he often opens the bowling or bowls first change. He bowls four overs every single game. He's, he's one of our leading batters. So you've got to decide, do I replace the batsman or do I replace the bowler? Because it's very difficult to replace both. There are not many players who provide you with both skills. So you might find yourself short in one department and strengthening the other department and or then strengthening the other department and weakening the other department. So it's very much depending on the conditions. If you think it's a flat wicket, you probably want to strengthen your bowling. If you think there's a little bit in for the for the wicket, you might want to strengthen your batting. So it'll be very much dependent on the conditions you play on. And there's I don't think there's anyone earmarked who's specifically gonna do Shakib's job. Um, it's uh, Everybody's going to have to contribute and try and fill up his numbers as best as we possibly can. The fog, like I said, the weather's been magnificent. It's not too hot. It's pretty. There's no breeze, but obviously it's not perfect with the with the smog. But it's the same for both teams. It's not perfect. It's not ideal. But it's nothing we're going to complain about or moan about. We've just got to get on with it and make the best do as we can. Look, it's obviously like I've said. It's not. It's not ideal. It's not something you'd want. But. There's nothing we can do with it. It's, uh, it, it is what it is. Um, we've got to make sure that we prepare as well as possible and we deal with it as well as possible. Um, thus far, for sure, we've had some scratchy eyes and maybe a little sore throat now and then, but it's been okay. It hasn't been, nobody's been sick or dying or anything like that. We've been okay with it. Um, obviously, you don't want to be in it for six or seven hours. So three hours a game that we're playing and three hour practice sessions is probably as long as you'd probably want to be in it at the moment. No, we haven't. Uh, we know that Sri Lanka struggled with it last time. Um, look, I suppose the plays in Bangladesh, there's a bit of pollution in Bangladesh as well, so it's not a like a, a massive shock to the system as maybe some other countries would maybe experience. So the players have dealt with it really well. They've said, ooh, it's smoky, but let's get on with it and practice. They haven't made too much of an issue of it. And, the coaches haven't either, and we just got to go about our business as we normally would. Look, there's no Virat, there's no Shakib, so there's an advantage for India with no Shakib, there's an advantage for Bangladesh with no Virat. They're two fantastic cricketers. Um, but look, 
it would have been great if Virat was playing. You want to play against the best players in the world. Um, if you ask all the Bangladesh prep, all the Bangladesh players, they'd love to test their skills against Virat Kohli. Um, so it's disappointing that he's not playing. It would have been great that he is, but you fully understand what he's worked on and the amount of games he plays. Um, as a coach, you're glad he's not playing. The players probably want to test their skills. We know he's probably the leading batter in the world. But if you want to beat the best, you got to play against the best. So it is disappointing that he's not playing.